What's up guys, Jack here. And in today's video, we have quite possibly what is currently my favorite car in the GT hoppers right now. So we were doing some private races with the same builds that you use in the public lobbies, but we were doing them and picking the tracks and making the races a little bit longer to have a little bit more fun. So we started with a random grid. Turk ended up getting first, I ended up getting second. We had a good battle all the way up, all the way up through the end of the race. Sometimes words are hard, but this car is genuinely one of my favorites to drive in this game now. It has really, really good acceleration up to about 160 miles an hour. So at the really, really long tracks with the really long straights, I wouldn't recommend this car. But for most of the other tracks, I highly, highly recommend using it because it is loads of fun. It's faster than the C8 in the corners just by a little bit. And it's got a little bit of run up to about 150 over the Corvette at the C8. So it's definitely in the higher tier of cars. It's definitely not an Audi or an Acura. It's not really touching those, but it's just a little bit off of them. So it's complete. It's very competitive, especially on the smaller tracks. It's got a five speed gearbox, which it makes it a little bit unique. You need to make sure when you are tuning this car, you are really focusing on the gears because you will be out of the power band a lot. And in this game, unlike Forza 7, that really, really matters. You wanna maximize your gears to make sure you are going as fast as you can on the straights. Now, this is also something that I would like, I wish I had known earlier. So it is actually faster to shift with B and X, like you're using manual, but with the manual with clutch turned on. If you use that assist, you will actually be going faster in the straights than just using manual. I don't know why it's a Forza thing, it's just a Forza issue, but if you shift, with manual and clutch on, you don't need to hit the clutch if you're in a race car and it will shift faster and you will gain a little bit of lap time doing this. So it's something I highly recommend doing. So now getting into the race, we have Farhan closing in behind us. We have a run on Turk, but I know if I try and make a move right there, we're both gonna go super slow through this corner and that's gonna allow Farhan to catch up behind us now. You'll notice that the headlights have been turned on for all the cars. All the cars except me because I am in a Trans Am car which has no headlights. So we get a little bit on the inside. We get a bump from Farhan. A little bit of contact on entry, but we're going to shake it off and we're going to keep going. Farhan's going to get dived up the inside by a Mercedes. Tommy's going to try and make a move on him and he's going to make that stick. So now we just got to really focus on trying to get by Turk. I don't really feel like I'm in too big of a rush. I'm trying to make sure the car behind me doesn't get by, but I'm not in that big of a rush at the moment to try and pass Turk. I'm just trying to make sure I stay on the track because on a track like Lime Rock, if you go wide, you will not really be able to recover it quickly, especially in the first and last sector. If you get into the grass here, you are losing loads of time. So we're just trying to make sure we get nice clean exits and not overdriving this car because one mistake will pretty much just end your race. And that's what happened for a lot of people in the pack you can see they're starting to get pretty big gaps. It's just those one or two mistakes that ends up happening. So right here, we're gonna make a move right on the inside of Turk. We're gonna be able to finish that pass. And now he's gonna be putting the pressure back on. One thing I realized during this race is whoever was leading the race was pretty much kind of the slower of the cars in the pack. We all seem to follow better than we did while leading. It's really difficult when you have a car just right on your rear bumper. The air wash has been mitigated a lot, but it's still a little bit of a thing. So it's very difficult when someone is right on the rear of your car, very close in pace on lap time, and they are giving you absolute fit. So I'm trying as hard as I can to pull this gap away from Turk, but it's just not working as well as I need it to. And I'm not able to get enough of a gap yet, but we're gonna keep pushing and try to hold off Turk for the remaining 10 laps of this race. So we go into turn one and turn one is always really tricky. You can see Turk was much more brave than I was and he made up a lot of that lost ground already. And now he's back on my bumper. So I need to make sure I take a nice more shallow line into these corners so he can't make a move up the inside. Turk is pretty aggressive. So if I leave him in open space, he will probably want to take it. So we're gonna make sure we avoid giving him any real opportunity. But right here, we make a big mistake. We put our front tire a little bit wide of that blue line and we get a massive penalty. So now 
I can't really be patient if I want to win this race because I have to get 1.3 seconds ahead of Turk or it's not going to matter where we finish in the order. So Turk sees me with the penalty and he's going to try and use me to probably, he's going to try and get back by me, try and slow down the other guard who's behind him. Farhan still running in third is always really dangerous. So that's going to be a challenge if he gets up there, unless he has, you know, a random skill issue or anything. I don't think that's going to happen. It definitely wouldn't. So Turk is getting another run and we're hitting some pretty bad lines. We're feeling the pressure from the car behind. We make sure we get the line through there right the next time through. And we just are not taking the best corners here. I get way, way too early on the turn in. And we're probably going to have to concede this position on corner exit. We managed to go all the way around on the outside without any contact. But as you can see, we got a little bit of straight line speed on him. But not the straight line speed that that Mercedes has behind us. And uh, where did Farhan go? We'll, we'll figure that out later. So we're gonna get stuck behind this Mercedes now. We're dropped down to P3. We're on lap. We're we're on lap eight. So seven full laps to go. And now we gotta try and make our way back by these two cars. Well, the Mercedes I know is very fast in the cor uh, very fast in the straight, but the Corvette's much faster in the corners. So it might create a little bit of a bottlenecking opportunity where we can try and pass both of them at the same time. If that Mercedes gets a run and it's not a very good one, we might be able to capitalize on the mistake. So we're gonna get a good run through here. He gets bogged in the corner and he's got that little bit less handling than we do. So I'm gonna be able to get enough of a run up the inside, even with him in the draft. And I'm gonna be able to pass him back up on the inside and finish the move right here on corner exit, just keeping it nice and smooth. Now we gotta try and get back by Turk again. And it's not gonna be easy. He does not wanna make it easy. I guarantee you, me and Turk, do not like it when the other one wins. So we're gonna definitely try and push for this. So one thing I'll talk about before we get back into the battle is this race, we host, Turk was hosting pop-up lobbies. Winner will pick the track using the GT homologation. That sounds interesting to you guys. Hop in the discords and the links below and come race with us. We need people to race with us all the time. The more people that join, the more events we can do like this. So back into the battle, we have a really good run on Turk right here. We're gonna try and you know, just kind of sneak up the outside, but I really just wanna get back in behind him. I don't wanna give that Mercedes a chance. And the outside of turn one is not a very good passing zone at Lime Rock. So we're actively gonna be trying to avoid making an overtake there unless we're well alongside. So right now we're just trying to set up a good run. And right here we have a pretty good run, but it's a really risky time to make a pass. So we're just gonna kind of slot right back in behind and make sure we don't have any contact or issues, but we're gonna get a nice good run. We haven't gone dirty there again since the first lap. You can see Farhan's made it back up to P4 after his uh, earlier skill issue. And we're back into the race. So we got a three-way battle here. Farhan's just hanging out. The probably looks like he's kind of driving in no man's land while we have no headlights. So we're going through and we're gonna try and make another run here on Turk. The strengths of this car is definitely corner exit acceleration and the turn in. This car really, really does turn in well to some of the high speed corners. I have my tune shared, so you can see my name on the screen. My gamer tag is Jack Coffee. See if you why. You can go onto my profile and try this uh, tune out if you want and see what you can uh, what you can accomplish in the multiplayer hoppers with it. So now we made a few mistakes time to catch up. Turk does not like that one corner. Turk just seems to find one corner on a track and just, just doesn't agree with him. There was one one corner. I can't remember which track it was. This is a, a, a hawk and hunt. Turk just hates one specific corner at every track. The rest of them he loves. Just one corner. He always hates. So we're making our way through. We get around him. He's honestly playing a little bit of nice there, which I found interesting. So he didn't really push it too hard. I think he knew he kind of had the pace, but I don't think he really wanted the Mercedes to uh, be able to make a run on him as well. So he chose to go for the safer option, which is very good racecraft, which something you don't get to see on Forza too often. But the game is going to be changing here very soon. So with the Mercedes right on the back and with me with the penalty, I really need to make sure I can run 
a couple good clean laps and just be able to build up this gap but I'm just struggling with the pressure behind me uh, let's just blame the fact that I don't have headlights and it's at night yep that's what we're gonna do sticker headlights that's my issue and an awful turn one I'm trying my best in turn one but it's a little bit of a tricky corner I feel like every time I went in there I went in there a little bit differently but we still have Turk right on the rear of the car we're trying as hard as we can to make sure we can keep him off of us but there's only so much we can do. So we're gonna just go through this corner, try and hope that we just don't get another penalty and maybe something can happen that will benefit us a little bit more. Maybe one of the other guys getting a penalty. So we're getting a little bit of a gap here. It's the most we've had in a couple laps. So we get a good final exit and we're able to just breathe a little bit. We can finally breathe going into turn one if we can just put these next two laps together, we're gonna to be able to get a big enough gap, but we overdrive turn one again. I get a decent exit, but unfortunately I just let him come back in again. He's still around that 0 0.5, 0 0.6 mark. We just gotta try and get a little bit more of a gap and it's gonna guarantee us that we're gonna be able to get enough, especially if the two cars behind us battle. So I'm just only really looking forward at this point got to make sure we hit the lines as well as we can without stepping over and uh that was a game changer if you look at the penalties in the top left corner turk got a 1.8 second penalty tommy got a penalty which means we just gotta go now we gotta go 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 they got the penalties on there even though i'm more of a moral victory i want to cross the line first even if like let's say turk wins the race and he has a penalty I would rather me passing him to win the race than just finishing second behind him and taking the penalty win. So we're gonna push as hard as we can to make sure he doesn't get a little bit closer so he can think about that move. But unfortunately I make a couple mistakes feeling the pressure coming up and I let him get a little bit closer than I would have liked, but we made it work. I turned in way, way too late. I had to avoid the penalty there, allowing Turk to get a little bit too close for comfort, but we're able to make a decent little line to the second to last corner. And all we gotta do is keep it on the road in the last corner and we are set. And we are gonna take the win in this fun three-way battle that went down to the wire. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one. And, always, and uh, let me say this, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, subscribe and I'll see you guys out on the track for the next race we're doing.